I'm the phonograph from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I'm a turntablist DJ, representing violin versus vinyl, FUC. FUC? Yeah. I'm Kaitami, and uh, I play the violin, and I'm from Victoria, BC. I'm Josh J.O. Beats from Portland, Oregon. I play the drums, and that's about it. DJ Atrey in Portland, Oregon, funk shop DJs. That's about it. J Tablet, <laughs> Bend, Oregon, MC. I like to party. I should have <laughs> thought of that. <laughs> I got, a, I got two projects. I got Cloak Characters, my group, and then I got my solo album, J Tablet. Um, and then I'm working on trying to work out this whole thing, which is fun. No, me and J.O.B. just finished the mixtape. Uh, we recorded in Bend, actually, um, the night before we came up to, uh, to Portland again to go to Tacoma and stuff. Uh, it's like 40 minute mixtape. Live drumming, live mixing, so it's pretty cool. How do you want to? SoundCloud, dude. We'll figure SoundCloud. it out. Yeah. It'll be around. Just you know, get at me some way, yeah. somehow. It's called you almost get, average. Almost average. We out there. Plug, yeah. plug. We out there. You can yeah. get my album for free too. Yeah. Look up J Tablet. It's free. Go for it. Put it on the tab. I also have an album coming out, and uh, but recently we've been working on this project. It kind of came together, just really randomly uh, about. I don't know. When, when did we start this crazy tour? Uh, <laughs> Friday. Yeah. I started doing like hip hop and violin like back in like I released an album in 2002 and when I did it I hadn't seen or heard anyone else do it. It was just kind of this idea I had and um and I also was really influenced by drum and bass. I was always checking out nights, and and um, I just thought that I wanted to start combining that with what I did. I wanted to start making music that I would want to listen to and buy, and and uh, so that was the beginning of it. And uh, Phonograph was like the first DJ that um, said that he was willing to work with me. That was like 2002. Oh, and nice we, guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so here we are, like... Yeah, we uh, did some pretty big shows together, too. Yeah. We opened up for Lady Sovereign, and uh, who else? Zion I. Zion I. Yeah. Um, so. But we're not, we're not just hip-hop, even though he's a sick turntablist and, and producer. We like going all over the place. Like, I really like punk and metal and, and dubstep and drum and bass and electro. Like, yeah. I, I just know when I hear it. I just... That's yeah, we mix it all we up. We mix it up. We do original. We mix. We find beat other people's beats that we like. We just, uh, yeah, it's sort of like a mixtape concept, and that's why I think it works well with these guys because they're all you know the mixtape thing too. You're kind of doing the similar <coughs> thing. Yeah. Right. With the, yeah. Drum, with the live I mean, drums. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I I play drums here in Portland, just at like at any and every club around town, pretty much with like you know the same kind of thing, like multiple. Multiple DJs, you know, let's give him a second. That's the turkey in the back. That's, that's the turkey farm. <laughs> yeah, so I, it's kind of the same kind of thing, like kind of this crossover, like top 40 dubstep nights, like just doing drums with with DJ, and then so it just kind of seemed to fit. And I've, and I've worked with A Train quite a bit here in Portland. Yeah, about a year now. Um, yeah, so it just kind of seems to. And I, for some reason, these guys work super well together too, and that, reason. like, yeah, yeah. Out of I, we don't really have them. It's, it's just, just weird. It's it, like everything we've known is each just other. happening. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. 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 it's kind of you know? like that along uh, across the board. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, we have two by fours in our sleep too. <laughs> yeah, they like to. Oh no, yeah, no. these fools scratch back and forth with their snoring. <laughs> <laughs> like we're trying to sleep, and these fools are. <laughs> 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 like, come on. Okay. Just rocking it twenty-four right, hours a day, right. man. It's kind of crazy though. I mean, the the way it came together is pretty much like it's meant to be. We didn't have any. Yeah. No one really pulled us. I mean, together, their MC know. dropped out after yeah. the first show, after their first show, pretty much, yeah. and so then we were. I hopped in with them. Yeah. Then they're with me, so we're like, why not? Let's, Let's just do it. it. Yeah. Why not? And I, I've always wanted to work with a with a drummer in the set, and then just perfect oh. that Abu here is like <laughs> a fucking killer, and yeah. understands like the kinds of beats yeah. and likes the same kinds of beats as us, and it just and but and his stage presence is like. Fucking unbelievable! Yeah. Like ditto, I remember, ditto yeah. around the board here, yeah. folks. And Come then, 
Yeah, no, I was getting, I was getting there. Okay, I was getting there. Go down there. Go down. Go down. Go down. You just run us down real quick, Run us down real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then what can you say about A Train? It's just like yeah. fucking the medium, right? the medium, the medium, the <laughs> medium. I'll just go ahead and He's say this: um, to, if we were, if if this tour was happening with any other DJ sitting there. We'd be dead. We'd be dead. <laughs> like, we much. probably would not come home alive. Yeah, the rock so star good, life yeah. would be a hold of us. And he beats the great. crowd just like perfectly yeah. and always knows like just yeah. what I'm just blown away every single night. He just knows exactly what, like what to, what yeah, to lay down. Yeah, he reads the crowd and, very well. And uh, everyone plays their part. Yeah, yeah. I think there's not a lot of DJs that read crowds anymore. It's kind of sad. <laughs> they just play whatever they want to hear. You know, it works for live music, you can play what you want to hear if you're good, but if you don't read crowds, you know, everybody wants to be a DJ now, so that's one skill that you can't teach, that you just gotta learn, and funnels the same way. Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the MC. I just and, I, and everybody hates him. Yeah, everyone hates me. <laughs> like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Do you want to know what the last song I said to me? I didn't tell you until now, because I knew it would piss you off. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was setting up my drums. I was setting up my drums, and uh, he was asking us like what we'd had. I was like, "Oh yeah, violin, blah blah blah." And the MC, he goes, "Oh well, man, if it's hip hop, it sucks." Uh, <laughs> I like, uh, see, yeah. I get the I, I get yeah. that right off the gate. He's like, I, he goes like rapping, and I go, "Yeah, well, like rapping." So I have the most to prove. I feel like Jay Tablet was willing to jump in with no, like he didn't even really know our set and no or what, and he was just down for whatever. He was just like, okay, that's it, I got it. So, and uh, we were just kind of jamming in the hotel room and and going over things like <laughs> like a few hours before the show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and he got it like right away. Like it was just, it, and his flow um, just worked with what we were doing. And, and uh, I pretty much cut my whole set. Oh. <laughs> so, it's cool, right? Last night, you did. Last night you did. You know? yeah. Last oh, night you did. Oh, Jay Tablet, who's seen? Yeah. Aren't you in their group? Oh yeah. yeah. But the sure. first, then Tacoma, when we all got to do our full set, yeah, yeah. that's what was awesome. Yeah, we was brought dope. the hip hop. We brought like the mm -hmm. the dance floor party. Mm -hmm. We brought the fucking whatever the fuck we do, yeah. which is um, violin versus violin. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of have a battle thing going on, and and then just the jam later was it just. It just worked it like this point. It was epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, owner, the owner came up just, just apologizing that we ran on all night. And he just, yeah. he was so apologetic. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry we didn't have you guys all night. And then that's when we went back up and just murdered it. Reassuring is definitely the crowd response for me. I yeah. feel like every, every show we've done is just like gradually getting more and more of people being like, Oh, we've never seen this before. Or who are you guys? Where do we see your music? Or how do we get a hold of you? When are you coming back? Like, those are the things you want to hear as an artist in general. So if you get them all, like all at once, it's just like wow. And so we were like in the hotel room, like where do we go? Well, how do how do we do this? Yeah. And we still don't know. So, I mean, four shows deep, and we're still like, okay, what are we doing? Tonight's gonna be same way. We don't have yeah. we don't yeah. have a name. We don't have a concept. We have a name. We do. We do have a name. Yeah. We're rocking it. We're rocking it. We have a name. No, What's come on. What's our name? Come on. We're going to rock it? Own up, son. Come on. F-U-C is Fuck Your Crew. And it's uh, basically based on like all our mentalities. And, and you can find it right here. Yeah, right here. That's how you can find it. Um, so I don't know. There's a long story behind that. It's probably not really fit for all the camera work. But we all like to party. We all like to have fun. So it's more. It's not like Fuck Your Crew, meaning like we're the best. It's like fuck what you're doing. We're doing what our what we're doing what we love to do and we have our own lane so it's fuck not we're not you know we're a group fuck your crew fuck we're, your crew we're not yeah straight fuck up your crew fuck your crew <laughs> so and we've been doing <laughs> hello aggro for no fuck reason you. so we've been, uh, that's we've, why everyone hates you yeah why everyone like? hates us but it's been kind of like it's it's like someone gives you a compliment and you say fuck you back it's like almost like a way to make negative energy positive because it's kind of like a joke. It's you know, it's like we would be like good show, and then he'd be like fuck you, dude. Like, and that's just like I don't know. It's something. It's something I've never been involved in, and especially with hip hop being like the culture of hip hop with the crew thing is cool too. Like, it's more Rudy, you know. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Tempo, 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 tempo